What's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to today's installment of Renegades Reviews. I'm the Renegade J.J. Williams, here to bring you my thoughts on yet another animated Christmas special. And with this episode, I am completely caught up on all the backlog. I hope I don't get too backlogged again, although I have a feeling I may miss another episode tomorrow. Hopefully I won't, but we'll see. Anyways, today I'm here to discuss the 1969 Rankin-Bass classic, Frosty the Snowman. A living snowman and a little girl struggle to elude a greedy magician who is after the snowman's magic hat. This special originally aired on December 7th, 1969. Featured the voices of Jackie Vernon as Frosty, Jimmy Durante as the narrator, June Foray as Karen, the school teacher and Karen's friends, Billy DeWolf as Professor Hinkle, the magician, and Paul Fries as a bunch of the other characters, including the traffic cop, ticket taker, and Santa Claus. Now, Paul Fries. For some of you, may better know him through his work for Disney. He is the voice of the auctioneer pirate on Pirates of the Caribbean, as well as the voice of John and George on the old Beatle cartoons. June Foray is better known as Granny on the old Sylvester and Tweety cartoons, as well as being the voice of Rocky the Squirrel on Rocky and Bullwinkle. Now, this is another very classic episode, or very classic Christmas cartoon. Um, it had a couple of sequels, which we'll be getting to in the next couple of days, so I'm not going to go too in-depth on them here. But this is another one of the classics that everyone loves to watch. During this time of year, the story of the snowman that came to life one day and had all the fun with the kids. There's a few discrepancies in the storytelling, if you really want to analyze things, that I noticed when I watched it the other night. I had noticed them before, but I really... I wanted to make note of things, so I paid closer attention the other night when I watched it. How is it that a snowman that just came to life doesn't know what a traffic light or a lamppost is, but can explain the science behind a thermometer getting red and knowing how he's going to melt? Can you explain this to me? And he can't even count to ten. He can count to five but can't count to 10, but he can tell you about how a thermometer getting red means that he melts away. Anybody else notice this before? Just one of the little nuances that I think helps make Frosty Frosty, but it's kind of interesting to point out, especially as you get older in life, because you see that and you're like, hey, that doesn't make any sense. How can he explain the thermometer thing and know that a refrigerated boxcar is a good way to travel for himself and a rabbit, but not the best way for a person to do it, but he doesn't know how to count. Anyways, um, I always loved Professor Hinkle in this, the greedy magician. I'm very fond of using his messy, 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 or things along that nature and saying them three times, my daughter gets a kick out of it. She, of course, loves the special, loves the Jimmy Durante version of Frosty that we hear in the special. What do you guys think of Frosty the Snowman? I'm sure most everybody out there loves it. Like Rudolph, I can't think of anybody that has never seen this before. Now, it's possible that some of the other specials you haven't seen, like the sequels and some of the movies I've been talking about, 
But Rudolph and Frosty, along with a couple others like, you know, Charlie Brown and the Grinch, pretty much are ones that everybody has seen, I think. So let me know what you think of Frosty the Snowman. Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. Tweet them to me at R-O-W-J-J-Williams. Let me know what other Christmas movies, animated Christmas specials, and TV Christmas episodes you would like for me to cover as we continue the road to Christmas here on Renegades Reviews and the Casa D18 Studios channel. And until tomorrow when I bring you yet another review, I am the Renegade J.J. Williams, and I look forward to talking to each and every one of you once again tomorrow.